Death from a human perspective is very sad, tragic, and by all means, and I mean this truly from the bottom of my heart, when someone dies, we're going to feel sad. It wouldn't be normal to not feel sad. What I want to offer you in this quick video here on this Saturday afternoon before I head into the uh, gym here for a workout is death happens for each individual when it's supposed to happen. Now, I want to be very, very careful and delicate here because there are a lot of senseless tragedies around the world, shootings, violent crimes, people unfairly losing their lives. And I totally honor all of the souls who are no longer with us, who didn't deserve to die, who died tragically unfairly, whether it be a shooting, a plane crash, a hate crime. There are so many unthinkable tragedies that, that should not be happening, that are happening. And they definitely, definitely did not deserve that in any way, in any, in any way whatsoever. And it's very sad. And I am as much sad as anyone else. What I'm, I'm conveying here, and hopefully I'm saying it correctly because it's hard to touch on the kernel of exactly what I mean, but I want to at least grasp at the reality, is from God's perspective, and I'm not getting overly religious or spiritual here, but from God's perspective, each individual came here to the planet for a purpose, and we die when we're supposed to die. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear that. And I know that death is tragic and sad from a human perspective, but from God's perspective, death is beautiful. From God's perspective, there's nothing to feel uh, sad or bad about death because it happens when it's supposed to happen. Now, here I am saying this, and yes, I've lost people who are close to me, but I want to be very, very careful and clear to to convey to you that I am as much sad when someone dies as anybody else. I feel so horribly bad for that person's family and loved ones. I cry even when I didn't know them, even if it's something I hear on the news or through a friend. I care, and I absolutely care. And I am as much sad as, as, the, as the next person. What I wanted to convey to you, though, is that when we, you and I both, step out of our, our human selves, so to speak, I'm saying this as a, as a figure of speech, when we step away from our, our human selves and we look at it from a more um, spiritual perspective, from God's perspective, things happen for a reason. Each human being is assigned with a specific purpose, and that includes both good things and bad things. Um, Wayne Dyer, uh, an author who has now passed away, said that um, he realized, and this is when he forgave his dad, his dad came here to be an alcoholic. Now, I know that sounds really bad, but Wayne Dyer himself, one of the all-time greatest authors and speakers, said, look, my dad came here to be an alcoholic, and um, that was his assigned purpose. Mother Teresa came here to be a saint. People come here to, for different purposes, whether it's to be a lawyer or a doctor, whether it's to be a, a, a criminal or a drug addict. And I know some of the things I'm saying here are very, very harsh. Again, I'm saying this with the utmost respect, um, but everything happens for a reason. Here I am in this body. Our bodies are temporary. Our souls are immortal. Are, are immortal. Let me say that clearly. And our souls live on forever. And... I was talking with a friend from my, my Toastmasters club. Toastmasters is a club that helps you with your public speaking and leadership skills. And she told me she knew of someone who was in their 20s who passed away because of a drug overdose. And she, like everyone else that knew him, was very, very sad and very, very upset. And I'm sad. I didn't know the person, but I'm sad just hearing this because it, it's tragic that he was in his 20s and he, he died. I'm in my, my 20s right now. And here's what she said to me. I'm quoting my friend. My friend said to me from my Toastmasters club, that's what he came here to do. He came here to be a drug addict and die. And he touched lives in other ways and he wasn't all a bad person, nothing like that. But what, what she was saying and what I'm saying is that it happened for a reason. It was meant to happen. Things happen for a reason. That was what his soul signed up for in this lifetime, in this specific instance where he came to the earth, he lived his life, he was a loving person, he touched lives, 
very sadly and tragically, he developed this really bad habit and that took his life. And what my friend was saying and what I'm agreeing with is that don't question God's will. Don't question the will. And, and I don't want to get lost in, in semantics here because I'm not saying God willed for that person to die, but I am saying that God assigned a soul to that human being who then had free will, who then chose to do drugs and overdosed. Things happen for a reason. I'm saying in God's will, yes, that human being had free will, but it was it was God's plan knowing, okay, that human being was meant to overdose. It's just as like some human beings are meant to do uh, do things with their business. Some human beings are meant to be really great at certain hobbies. Some human beings are meant to be bad people. They're meant to be people that a- end up causing strife in society because, well, I don't want to say because, but I want to say, why could this be meant to be? Because everything happens for a reason. We can learn from every bad thing that happens and hopefully make society better. So when tragic things happen, I'm saying, look, I'm as sad as anyone else. Mourn the loss of them. Be sad. But then think, what can you do to make this better? What can we do to reduce gun violence in the world? To reduce uh, kids and, for that matter, any human being doing drugs? From a spiritual perspective, everything happens for a reason. I'm in this body right now. My soul, and I'm, and I'm actually cringing saying this because from a human perspective now... I don't want to die because that's so sad and that's tragic, but I'm not going to be in this body forever. And what I'm saying is it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Nothing lasts. There's a song by, uh, I believe the band is called Air and it's called Sing Sang Sung. And the lyrics go, nothing lasts. It's better that way. It's better that way. Nothing lasts. It's better that way. It includes you. It includes me. We're in these bodies temporarily. I don't think society should be so hung up on being afraid to talk about death because it can actually be a beautiful thing. Here's the thing. From a spiritual perspective, you enter into joy and bliss when you're, when you're gone from your body, you're in pure joy, you're in in pure bliss and souls are, are looking back to human beings going, Oh my God, I wish I could tell them death is beautiful. Death is death, not death. (laughs) Apologies, I mispronounced that. Death is wonderful. These souls who are now gone want to share with us death is is an amazing process of love and joy. And yes, human beings are going to be sad because we're human. That's what it means to be a human being. You have feelings, you have emotions. But remember, from a spiritual point of view, it's all beautiful. It's all perfect. And I am no guru, nor am I a saint, nor am I a genius nor am I saying that I'm always right. I'm simply condensing decades of of experience, decades of reading the greatest books from the greatest minds in the world, decades of of going to conferences and going face-to-face with the most successful people on planet Earth and talking to them. And I'm condensing all of that into, you know, coupled with, of course, my insights here from myself into this one video. And I may not say everything perfectly, I may not necessarily say everything exactly um, how I fully meant it, like because it's such a hard concept to articulate, I may might say something that I didn't mean. If I said something that annoyed you, please don't just like unfollow me or delete the unsubscribe from me. Can you comment below and tell me what didn't I explain fully? And it, maybe we are on the same page and I can explain it better in the comments. So... Um, please do that. If there's something that I, I said that I, that I annoyed you, I'm sorry, because I'm not trying to annoy you. I'm, I, I fully respect all the lives who are lost. I'm just saying that from a spiritual perspective, death is beautiful. And that if we can incorporate the spiritual side of death into our human processing of death, it can become more easy to deal with. We can solve the problems more effectively. Uh, we can be happier and healthier in our daily lives and feeling more at peace feeling more at peace. Um, That's really the goal here. Look, no one wants to ever lose a loved one. And I hope uh, to God, no pun intended here, I hope to God that both you, your family, your loved ones, and everyone you know lives long, happy, healthy lives. All I'm saying is that everything happens for a reason, that death is beautiful, 
that from a spiritual perspective, there's no reason to be sad. From a human perspective, yes, I'm saying from a spiritual perspective. And knowing that, yeah, when we're babies, we come into the world crying. And there's, there's a quote here. I don't know who said this, but I heard it from... Um, Robin Sharma on his YouTube channel is actually quoting somebody else. So forgive me, I don't remember who said it originally. I'm quoting Robin Sharma, who in turn quoted somebody else. But the quote goes, I'm paraphrasing here, we come into the into the world um, crying as babies and everyone else, everyone is happy. We're crying as babies, everyone is happy we're here. When we leave the earth, everyone cries, but we rejoice. That That's end of the quote. End of the quote, now my own interpretation. The end of the quote says something that caught my attention. We rejoice when we die. We are going to be happy and in bliss and in love and and we'll be in the spirit world and re reuniting with people who pass before us and being infinite and joyous and, and death is a beautiful thing. And I know our society is very, very reluctant to talk about death, but I just wanted to have you consider the fact that Spiritually speaking, death is beautiful, and I know I'm repeating myself here a couple of times, but I want to hopefully make sure I'm conveying the point the right way. I'll, I'll end it here. Death is beautiful. Everything happens for a reason. From a spiritual, spiritual perspective, death can be joyous, and that yes, as humans, we're going to mourn and feel sad, but we can feel at peace knowing that our loved ones are in, a, in truly a loving place when they move on. I'm looking at the time here. Uh, looks like I'm... Uh, I've been speaking here for 11 and a half minutes. By the time I wrap up with my my final couple thoughts here, it'll be over 12, 12 minutes long. So if you did stay with me the whole video, I really appreciate it. Again, please, if there's something that you don't agree with or that I didn't explain properly or maybe I didn't articulate clearly enough, comment below and let me respond to you. Let's make it a dialogue rather than, and I'm not saying you would do this, but there are some people out there who who will see something they don't like and then they'll just unsubscribe or unfollow or just delete the person from their life. I'd like to make this a collaboration. I'd like to make this a correspondence. Let us let me um, have a chance to explain to you my thoughts further in the comments below. Uh, have a wonderful day. Again, really appreciate you taking the time to watch this uh, video that's now more than 12 minutes long. It means a lot to me. Appreciate the support. As always, stay true to yourself. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Um, stay confident. Be yourself and uh, you will reach your mountaintop. Have a great day.